another bike review. Here we go. Nocto Folding Ox. These names, man, they are just out of control. I don't know where they come up with this stuff. But either way, we'll get it out of the box. We'll see what it's made of. This one uh, box is a little beat up. But hopefully what's inside is not. So let's get it out, put it together, see what it's all about. Okay, it's together. Here it is. Kind of a interesting looking bike. Step through, folding, cargo rack, nice comfy seat. Hey, this is not a bad bike. So let's go ahead and see what this is like. The handlebars are up nice and high. That's a comfortable grip. Uh, handle right here to grab it. Either way, let's charge it up, take it for a spin. Okay, so here it is. Nocto folding bike nice folding ox as they call it so overall a pretty tough looking bike we got knobby tires we've got disc brakes battery here in the back seat that folds up if you want to get the battery out charge it nice luggage rack on the back suspension in the front Nice tall swept handlebars. I moved the screen from here to here. I like it better in the center. We're gonna go ahead and test it out. A horn, nothing much. Gear select levers, typical stuff here. So overall, not the highest quality, not the lowest quality, but it's in there. It's a, it's a middle of the road bike. Either way, let's take it out. I'm going to do a top end run with it and then we'll take it off road around the lake and see how it does. We got our GPS ready. Let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the power assist all the way up. You know how we do. And let's go for it. Here we go. Full throttle. There we go. So right around 23, almost 23 miles per hour, 22, showing 20 on the screen, so an under-reporting, under-reporting speedometer, that's interesting. Most of them are a little optimistic, this one's not. So we'll go the other way real quick, make sure that the speed is what we were expecting. But that's actually pretty good. Over 20 miles an hour, 22 miles an hour, almost 23 according to GPS. Let's go the other way and see what that means. over 23 in this direction so 22 23 we'll call it 23 mile an hour top speed 22 miles an hour is pretty consistent that's not too bad now we'll take it off road and see what it does the suspension would make us want to believe that we have some off-road capability here so We'll see. Here's some sand. Let's go ahead and stop here in the sand and start. Okay, starting off in the sand. All right, not bad. Power is pretty decent. This is uh, definitely, you can go to the beach with this. Got those big, fat, knobby tires. Off-road is not bad. This does not feel bad at all, actually. 
So I'd say off-road ability is there, actually. A little better than I expected, to be honest with you. It's taking it pretty well. Then we'll go up this embankment. Oh. Okay. Went over a big bump there and got a battery shut off. Let's turn it up. Here we go. Let's see. So maybe don't go over any jumps with it. <laughs> this is pretty bumpy terrain, I will say that. It doesn't really feel too bad. It's taken it pretty well. Okay. It really doesn't have too much trouble getting up to speed, even off-road, as we approach 20 miles an hour here. That's pretty good. Surprising off-road ability. I'm gonna say that. Surprising off-road ability. I did not expect it to do so well off-road for what it is, but hey, it's called an ox for a reason, I guess. No problems at all. Okay, so there it is. The Nocto Folding Ox. Actually a surprising off-road bike. Uh, I, I did not expect it to handle the off-road as well as it did. So I can see a nice basket on the back here would really complement this. If you wanna open up your cargo area and have some more storage. The grips are really nice and comfy. It's kind of, kind of a soft grip, really good. Brakes, wish they were hydraulic. I'm not gonna complain though stops the bike totally fine we're going 22 miles an hour with this which is great for the sidewalks you can still kind of hang in that 20 mile an hour range no problem uh, and pedal it if you don't want to use the electric not a problem so cool great little bike if you're interested check out the link in the description get one of your own and i'll see you guys in the next one